Hey guys, so today's been uh, the Mobile World Congress where we've had a whole host of new phones uh, being announced and officially unveiled. So I wanted to do an overview of the most uh, interesting phones which have been uh, unveiled today. Some people have been requesting that I do uh, you know, an overview of uh, the LG G6, uh, the Huawei uh, P10, uh, we're getting new Sony Xperia's as well, Xperia XZ Premium. Uh, we're getting the old classic uh, Nokia 3310. Uh, getting some new Moto uh, G5's as well, which look very nice. And a new tablet as well, you know, it's rare to see a tablet. Uh, and we're getting the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3. Uh, so we can just start off with the LG G6, which was announced earlier in the day, and it pretty much uh, is exactly as most people were expecting. Uh, we're getting a nice full kind of metal build, and I have seen some YouTube videos of it already, some people having hands-on, and the screen does look pretty epic in terms of you know uh, how uh, it's making use of the space a lot better than the G5 uh, or the V20 uh, in terms of the specs uh, I'd say that they're decent but not necessarily uh, you know pushing uh, the boundaries or anything it's uh, quite similar to before actually 4 gigs of RAM uh, 32 gigs or 64 gigs uh, with uh, the same 2K display Snapdragon 821, obviously not the latest chipset, uh, which may be a deal breaker to some people. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, things that I do like about the device uh, is that they have made the wide aperture camera uh, as good as the main camera. Because uh, if you use the wide aperture camera on the G5, the quality was pretty bad. Uh, so that, that uh, is a good improvement. And we also have full waterproofing now and uh, you know dust proofing so basically it looks like a well-rounded flagship here for LG I hope it does uh, well for them they definitely uh, definitely in, uh, do deserve some success uh, this year uh, next up we do have the P10 this has uh, been announced today and I've been a big fan of the P9 uh, the Honor 8 so I was looking forward to what Huawei had to offer here uh, and with the uh, P10 we are getting a uh, very nice uh, evolution of the P9 uh, we're getting the Mate 9 uh, specifications pretty much uh, Kirin 960 4 gigs of RAM and uh, you know your micro SD expandability uh, type C and I don't think uh, it supports uh, waterproofing which I would have liked to have seen you know for a flagship phone but nevertheless, you know, they're coming with the uh, leak optics again. It looks a little bit more like an iPhone this time, which might be, again, uh, quite polarizing. I think they've actually moved the uh, fingerprint scanner as well to the front. And I did actually like it on the back. I felt it was quite natural, you know, in terms of the way it rests on your fingers. But I'm guessing some people will enjoy the move. Uh, the phone colours look pretty groovy. I've never seen a green phone before. Uh, you know, they're definitely trying to differentiate there. So again, you know, another solid Android flagship. Not necessarily pushing the boundary again, but hopefully it will, you know, sell quite well uh, for Huawei. Uh, we do have some Xperia's which are due to be announced tomorrow, so we don't have that much information, but they look pretty delicious. Nevertheless, you can see we have uh, this Xperia XZ Premium, uh, which looks, uh, you know, pretty awesome. And uh, Xperia XA2, Xperia XA2 Ultra. Uh, so uh, this uh, blank bright one sounds pretty <laughs> pretty epic. Uh, I don't think uh, it's got the most flagship specs, but uh, you know uh, it uh, looks uh, pr quite nice nevertheless. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, quite a few uh, Sony handsets to be announced. I think uh, I'm most interested in the XZ Premium. Hopefully it will come with the, uh, you know, uh, flagship process, at least Snapdragon 821. I don't think it will be Snapdragon 835 because Samsung is hoarding that chip, obviously. Uh, next, uh, we do have 3310 come back. Wow, the old classic. And doesn't it look pretty cute? You know, I've seen some comments, some people saying it looks ugly. But I actually think it looks uh, quite dainty. 
you know, a little bit uh, plasticky. Probably would have liked to have seen a bit more premium, but nevertheless, uh, it's nice to see it come back. And you do get uh, Snake as well on the device, obviously. It wouldn't be a Nokia phone if it didn't come with Snake. And you're getting a uh, movable battery, uh, 1200 mah with up to 31 days standby time so you're going to get uh, certainly a battery beast here with this one uh, is it running uh, android that uh, is a good question uh, let's just have a look uh, where is the operating system it doesn't look like it is android but then again it could be like a uh, scaled down version uh, it looks like it's got uh, some nice uh, stuff here, such as a uh, you know camera, etc. And it's not very expensive. I think it's going to be released for about 50 euros. So uh, it's nice that it's coming back, but I am actually a little bit more interested in the other Nokia phones as well as the rumored Nokia 8 flagship. So hopefully we'll get more information on that. Moto uh, is coming out with some new Moto phones, Moto G5 here. Uh, these are like more mid-range entry-level phones, Snapdragon 430. So hopefully they'll be quite affordable and, you know, uh, not too big as well. I think they should go back down to the smaller kind of size. So it looks like it is a 5-inch phone for the Moto G5, so that's quite good. And, you know, uh, quite a nice premium design overall here. Uh, and finally, we do have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3. This is a tablet which is coming with uh, some note functionality. So you can see you get a stylus pen here, uh, which uh, is very nice. Uh, you can see it's getting the latest kind of Grace UX as well. Super AMOLED display and a very nice premium build quality. Uh, not the latest in terms of the chipset, it's not an 820, but you do get four gigs of RAM, so that should be very good for multitasking, and a 6000 mAh battery. You can also clip on a keyboard here, as you can see, for you know workplace uh, functionality, and that uh, is quite good for a tablet, because I think tablets, uh, generally have fallen out of favor for most people. Most people do want uh, like a phablet phone. So this one could kickstart uh, interest again in tablets or maybe not, you know, maybe it'll just be forgotten and people will be waiting for the Note, Note 8. Uh, but it's nice that Samsung's trying nevertheless. Uh, certainly an interesting day then when it comes to uh, Mobile World Congress. And I think uh, the... Uh, LG G6, for example, is due out worldwide in April. It would be nice if they announced these things and it was due out the next week because a lot of people are going to forget about it, you know, and just buy the S8 when that's due. But nevertheless, uh, you know, if you're not into Samsung, it does look like a very uh, nice phone along with the P10. Uh, there's obviously uh, more to be released tomorrow, so I might make an update video. Uh, if anything interesting is released, hope you enjoyed this uh, overview here uh, of, uh, you know, uh, the first day of MWC. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.